When we procure and sign up a subcontractor to complete a package of works, we need to be clear on what we are contracting them to do. Any ambiguities or points of confusion will likely end up becoming disagreements and disputes down the track. Often, the pressure will be on us, the general contractor, to prove that a subcontractor should have been responsible for given scope. As such, it's critical to make sure we are super clear on what we are engaging a subcontractor to do and resolve any scope and ambiguities and gaps during the procurement phase prior to signing a contract. I was working on the mechanical and electrical fit out on a major tunnel project. We were procuring subcontractors to deliver massive packages of works, sometimes in the tens of millions of dollars. And as such, it was critical that we mapped out exactly what each contractor was required to do. In each tender package, we included a detailed scope of works, battery limit drawings showing each contractor's scope, a fully developed work breakdown structure, all the relevant design packages and more. When tender responses were received, the procurement, design and construction teams all reviewed the responses and completed a thorough gap analysis. We made sure that each subcontractor was signed up to complete the works we required. Consequently, we set the project up for success by having a disciplined and methodical approach to procurement.